Hello there, my name's Adrian Bex and welcome to Conversations on Consciousness. Intuition, what is it? Where does it come from? We don't really know, but however, we know that inner calling, that inner tuition lays directly within our body, our mind, our consciousness that is located deep within inside us. Intuition is our autopilot, it's, it's, our, it's our knowing, it's our sixth sense within our body. When we know something's going to happen, we are certain for sure that something is going to happen or will happen or we need to do something. This is guidance, guidance that comes from externally from us and also internally when we have a really strong feeling. And that calling and that feeling is only aimed at you. It's not aimed at anybody else because you are receiving the information that you need in order to fulfill that path or that destiny. And it could be something as simple as just getting something from the shop to help some stress and ease some stress from your partner who just probably forgot to get an item that was very essential. It can also help you to slow down in traffic when you know for certain that, okay, I don't know why, but I need to slow down. And the more you take action into this feeling, the more that you can save your life, save time and keep you safe. Now there's a difference, a total difference than hearing intuition, a guidance and taking action. All of us hear our intuition all the time, but we don't always take action in order to um, succeed with our intuitive sort of guidance. So for example, um, a typical, a, a usual story that I give to people is um, you're, about, you're about to go out for the day, you look at the sky and it's like, and before before you leave the door, you look at your raincoat or umbrella and you pause and you think, do I need to take that? And you have a strong feeling, but yet you're looking outside and you're seeing a clear blue sky. And so you think, I don't need that right now. Two hours from now, it gets overcast, cloud, and it pours down. <laughs> so it's taken me many, many years to um, master this, uh, this feeling. Now, I know I'm not near a master at all because sometimes I don't, um, take action. I listen, I hear this, this guidance, but I don't always um, proceed with, with the action in doing so. So for example, I was out with a friend and I, it was a nice sunny day, clear skies, and I just had this strong intuition to get my coat. And so I did, and they laughed at me. I said, you're not gonna need that, it's, it's good weather. I've got a strong feeling that it's gonna rain. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I had it in my bag and I saw that it was about to rain after, you know, a few hours of being out and I put my coat on, this was many years ago and bless them, my friend got wet, I didn't, um, but I, I said in the moment, I've got a feeling it's going to rain, so, you know, I guess my friend at the time should have said something like, oh, perhaps I should take a coat as well or ask me, if they had asked me at the time, do you think I should take a coat? And then I probably would have said yes but I wasn't certain, I just had a, a small feeling. And so this guidance takes many, many years to master and know for certain that something is gonna happen. And the older you get through experience, the more you can nail it down and fully understand this intuitive feeling that you are getting within inside your body. And how to listen to that is just really just being open and not always tuning in and feeling and going, oh, oh, am I feeling this, am I feeling that? That's not the way to tune into your intuitive guidance and your inner tuition. It's more about letting the information come to you because it is external. Now the information that comes to you that is external comes to you, but you don't ask for it. <laughs> so basically, I hoping this is making sense. Um, if you are seeking guidance, if you're seeking information, you're probably gonna get it for your own mind, but the best information that I've got come to me from my intuitive sort of following, perhaps with guides, the spirit world, or ancestors, loved ones that are around me, who give me a bit of guidance, which I'm not fully sure where this guidance is coming from, but it comes external from me. And it could be something as simple as sitting down, having something to eat, or just driving, which is when your physical mind is completely distracted, allowing your, um, int uh, your intuitive mind to come in. So your right brain, uh, your, your left brain is, is blocked because you are doing something uh, physical. So like it could be ironing, washing, driving, 
um, painting, that's where a lot of intuitive stuff comes with it and flows. So if I'm speaking to you right now, you're fully certain and aware that when you're washing up or you're ironing or you're doing housework, that's when you get information come to you. And it can be at some really random places. Maybe it's that you, your go-to place to think. It could be painting or doing anything that you love. So always follow your intuition and you will gain guidance all the time. So until next time, I'll speak to you then.